Yo, what is up, YouTube? All right, so um, this is a debate. Now, before we get into this, I want to explain how this is going to work. You feel me? Because this ain't going to be like my typical videos. I usually post a lot of 2K, but I ain't, ain't going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of 2K, so I'm, I'm pretty much done posting 2K for just for just for, the, you know, the time being. We're not done, but, you know, we to at least come out or something like that. I don't really care about it that much. But anyway. I was watching the Joe Button podcast, right? And this is why I'm, I'm saying this because this is going to explain this video. And uh, they was talking about like hip hop and shit, you know what I'm saying? And I was just thinking, like, they, I was just looking at them debating shit. And I'm like, yo, this shit like a little interesting. You know? I'm like, yo, fuck it, I want to do that shit too. So I said, let me, you know, it's like a little YouTube channel. Let's talk about some fucking NBA, you feel me? So we're going to be debating this shit on here. So I want y'all to say that, you know what I'm saying? Before we get into the video, this isn't going to be a person. Like, this ain't going to be a trite or a wrong answer. It's a debate, you feel me? Y'all supposed to disagree with me. It's a debate, you know what I'm saying? So comment below if you do, if you know what I'm saying? I'm a, my opinion, like, comment if yes, you agree. Or tell me no why you don't agree. You know what I'm saying? Comment why you agree or comment why you don't. It's a debate. Don't don't get in your feelings saying I'm slizz or this and that. It's a debate. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to argue about the situation. I'ma drop the videos and everybody else will argue in the comments. We're gonna talk about this shit in the comments. You feel me? We getting Liddy out here. So the first thing first I'm talking about, we got uh LeBron James versus Michael Jordan. You feel me? And I'ma tell y'all off the rip, I think LeBron is the GOAT. I don't think it's close. But, you know what I'm saying? I know other people do. Delusional people, if you ask me. But, you know what I'm saying? Even with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all why I think LeBron is better than MJ. But I'm also going to downplay a couple of NBA accomplishments. And people like to use to say why he's better. So, the first thing people like to say. Oh, before we get even into this. I feel like if you're a millennium. Millennium. Well, you know the word. You know what I'm saying? I think I know the word I'm trying to say. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. But, like. You should never think Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Like, you've never seen him play like myself personally. You shouldn't think he's the GOAT because there's no reason to. You know what I'm saying? That's something to talk about him. Like, I I think when I seen LeBron play last year in the finals, 2018 NBA finals, I was like, oh, shit, this nigga. Just watching how he played, I said, oh, this nigga really the greatest player in the world. Like, I was like, damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm saying, I can understand if you got that type of look. But if you're just looking at accomplishments or highlights, Ain't no way in hell you could claim him as the GOAT. That don't make no sense. Only way you could claim him as the GOAT is if you've seen him play, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? I feel, or you just dicky in. And most of y'all is dicky this. And y'all just in here shit. So anyway, let's go ahead first. So first thing, a lot of people have to say six championships. Let's not act like people don't got six championships. Let's not act like, you know, Scottie Pippen don't got six himself. Let's not act like, you know what I mean, Robert Harvey don't got seven. And that's currently, you know what I'm saying? Like, not currently, but you know what I mean? That's not... That's not Bill Russell time. That's that's past Michael Jordan time. Seven championships. You know what I'm saying? Let's not act like Patrick McCall didn't just three P. He been in the league for three years and got three championships. So I'm not I'm not gonna credit nobody for a team's success. You know what I'm saying? He played on the team and the team was good. Before the team, he was a I mean, well, before Scotty, he was a first round exit. Alright? So we're not gonna do that, alright? We're not going we're not gonna do that. Alright? Um Another thing they like to use, um, so that's that's the that's the that's the that's the championships right there. It's a team accomplishment. You're not better than LeBron because your team was better than LeBron's. They went 72 and 10. That's a good ass team. You know what I'm saying? And, and don't be saying, oh, they only went 72 and 10 because uh, Michael Jordan is so good. Well, what about Curry? They went 73 and 9. Is Curry the goat then? Because he went 73. He brought his team to 73 and 9. No, it's a fucking team accomplishment. He not the goat. Just, just, just deal with it. You just got, you just got to deal with it. All right. So um. Now back to talking about um. What else? Uh, Finals MVPs, right? Okay. Cause this is what I'm gonna say. Okay. Yeah, LeBron got. I mean, yeah, and you know, Scotty got six championships too, but. But he ain't got six Finals MVPs. All right. Well, listen. I don't. You know, really take seriousness to fan voted awards, cause fans are biased. You know what I'm saying? And people. People are fucking, you know what I'm saying? They, they choose their favorite player and shit. And I don't know what y'all gonna say, oh, it wasn't fans, it was the media. But let me ask y'all this. Is, ain't the media fans? Ain't don't the media watch games as fans? It wasn't they fans growing up. They fans and niggas was on Michael Jordan top. You know what I'm saying? Like when I heard when you retired, the NBA went down like 40% in the viewership. People just wanted to. 
picked him because he was like special. Like people call him the Black Jesus and shit. Like he was so spiced up. So how would you feel this nigga winning Finals MVP and you don't choose him? You know what I'm saying? And the only reason I say that is because, you know, Scottie Pippen was leading in assists and rebounds. Only thing Michael Jordan led the team win was points. You know what I'm saying? That's not good. Like, that's, I mean, man, people do that all the time. Like, I could easily, what I'm saying is, like, Finals MVP was, I could easily argue Curry should have won over Eagle Dollar. You know what I'm saying? In 2015, I think. Was it 2016, 15? I think it was, I don't know. But I, I could easily argue Curry should have won that one. But he didn't. You know what I'm saying? So I don't take final MVP seriously. Because that don't mean nothing. Because people just vote for who the fuck they want to vote for. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't, I don't, don't take that shit serious. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's a fact. They gave it to Eagle Dollar because they say he, he locked down LeBron. But he... I mean, you've seen LeBron points per game. I don't understand how the fuck he got that, but that's my point. I don't take fan voted awards seriously. If, it, if Unless they put everybody's stats in the computer system and it generated Michael Jordan, okay, that's a different thing. But that didn't happen. They chose LeBron because they was fan. I mean, they chose, they chose Jordan because they was fans of Jordan. You know what I'm saying? So, look, I already pretty much beat a couple things they say. They say they take championships. They say finals MVP. It, also, if you're one of those dumbass people who feel as though, um, who feel as though LeBron is um, horrible because he got six finals losses, you're a fucking idiot. Like, cause if, if we being honest, MJ played in the league for 15 years. He only got six championships. If we being honest, MJ is what is that six and fucking six and nine he's six and nine for seasons because he won six times and nine times he lost you know what i'm saying at least michael lebron making the finals who got more conference championships lebron you know what i'm saying he got more conference championships how can you credit how, how can you discard someone for you know what i mean not like i don't understand how you can just discredit for someone someone for like making the finals and losing you know what I'm saying so but but since MJ didn't even lose since he didn't even make it that's cool that don't make sense to me bro LeBron is the GOAT you know what I'm saying just deal with it you know what I'm saying I mean there's one thing else I think they say defensive player. I mean, Michael Jordan could have won. You know, I mean, LeBron could have won. You know, he lost by one vote. Again, fans voted the worst. I don't take fans voted fans voted the worst series. I mean, he, Michael Jordan didn't make his teammates better. In my personal opinion, he's extremely overrated. Yeah, I mean, when I say overrated, I don't mean like I don't think he was a bum. I just feel like. People think, you know, he is what he wasn't and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's facts. Also, the NBA was easier to score back then, in my personal opinion. A lot of people say the NBA is easier to score now because, I think, what they say? Hand checking. But a lot of people, I don't know where the fuck they was at when this happened. But that's not the only rule that they changed. Like, listen, so back in MJ day, first off, um, hand checking was a thing. I don't know why people think that shit just got created. I could, you could, I, I guarantee you can probably YouTube some shit. I know, I don't know if you YouTube it, but I know this definitely for a fact happened. Uh, Michael Jordan was getting, uh, you know, people getting calling him for hand checking files. So if you hit his hand, that's a hand check. You know what I'm saying? It was, they didn't just make that rule. What they did was they reestablished it. You know what I mean? They just rearranged, they edited it basically. They, they, they modified it. But it, it been a rule. You know what I'm saying? So let's just start that off. Also, not only did they edit the rule, um, they only edited it because they took something they took something away, and it's called illegal defense. So basically, back in the NBA, back in the day, you could you couldn't you couldn't sag. You had to play man to man defense or help defense. You couldn't sag off your player. So a lot of times, MJ. All he had to do was beat one person. And if someone tries to help, the person wide open. You can't sag, or that's a legal defense. You could call for a legal defense. 
You know what I'm saying? And once they took that illegal defense out, like it's not in the NBA no more illegal defense. Now pe- that's why you see people said, once they take that out, MJ and niggas was complaining. Like this is real facts, bro. MJ was bitching. No cat he was bitching. I said he was complaining. He was saying it's hard to score and all this bullshit. Now this is like the Wizards time, but still, you know what I'm saying? He was bitching and shit. And I said Kobe, like, cause this happened around two thousand something. So a lot of these dudes, like you could check their points per game before the season. I mean, before they, the before they had the rule and after they had the rule. And before they had the rule, a lot of them had higher points. And after the rule came, their points went down. So the fact that somebody like James Harden averaged in 36 is a possibility that he would have averaged 50 in MJ time. And I know it might not sound like what, bro. But you got to think about the rule. A lot of people not understanding that. And they think the NBA back then was better. But it's just that I think the NBA is way better than it was before. You know what I'm saying? The players evolving and becoming better. But the competition is also getting better. You know what I'm saying? You not NBA was playing against bus boys. LeBron playing against NBA players. You know what I'm saying? So you look at it from that perspective. And people like to say, Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, you know what I'm saying? Those players was good for that lead, but I think, and again, if I say, if you put those players in the NBA right now, they would do bad, niggas would laugh at me, but that's the thing, like, just because they did, like, basically, what I'm saying, basically, this is what I'm trying to say, just because I'm averaging 50 points in college, don't mean, I mean, high school, don't mean I can average 50 points in the NBA, so what I'm saying is, like, Isaiah Thomas was good, but that's because everybody was at, like, a high school level. You know what I'm saying? The the, the current NBA is, like, an NBA level. So, it's kind of confusing, but basically what I'm trying to say is I don't believe they could do what they did back in the day. I don't want to make this too long. Again, this is a debate. Don't be in your feelings. Leave your comment section below why you think MJ is the GOAT or why you agree with me that LeBron is the GOAT. All we doing is debating out here. We having fun. Make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned. I got more debates coming up. We lit. We live. I'm going to holler at y'all next one. I'm out. Peace. Gang. Holler at y'all next one. I'm out. Peace. Gang.